you've mentioned like there's so many different types of like SMB verticals, right? There's dentist, HVAC, right. auto shop. Like, how did you think about that challenge and which verticals to go after? And then I'm curious, like, was the messaging the same for each one or did you have to kind of tailor it? Was like, did dentists care about something really different than HVAC or was it sort of like all the same messaging? Yeah, it's a great question. So when I come on, so Podium was originally founded because Eric, uh, who's still the founder and CEO today, his dad had a tire shop or a couple of tire shop, shops up in Calgary. And um, that is where they originally found some traction was with tire shops. And then they found a little bit of traction with dentists and a little bit of traction with auto dealers, but, but not significant anywhere. And so we kind of had that baseline to start working from. And then we just started going deeper on what each industry cared about. And what we actually found is probably 60 to 70% of what they cared about was the same, which is, hey, look, like, this is my livelihood. Like, I need to make more money, which means I need more customers or I need like great feedback around these customers. And um, that was like, you know, issue number one that they were trying to solve for. And then from there, probably the remaining remainder, like for remaining 40 or 50% was kind of odds and ends that were industry specific. So like for auto dealers, they would say, hey, we actually care about a ton of the feedback within the review because we don't, we have like 12 sales reps. I don't know everything they're doing. And obviously this is before Gong, this is before all these other sales tools that who knows if they've made their way there, but it was like a way for them to check in on their sales reps, right? Um, so it really did differ by industry on kind of the long tail of the benefit, but the core benefit was how do we just get more customers? And um, we would create, you know, webinars that were, were geared right toward a dentist and right toward an auto dealer. We did that at the very beginning. And even as we expanded years later, we still had what we called vertical marketing managers. And those folks were really focused on a single vertical and knowing that vertical and tailoring messaging to that vertical and you know doing channel optimization around that vertical. So it, the vertical thing never really left. Very cool. Very cool. And then like, how long did that kind of outbound plus webinar strategy last? And then I'm curious, like what the next evolution looked like, because I know, like, as the team yeah. grew, you kind of expanded into more, like proper revenue marketing and different channels. Like, when did you kind of start to make that shift and test other other channels? It um we so, again, I, I've been gone from podium now for like a year and a half, almost two years, but I do know they still use some of those same channels that that we used back then. Um, so it never really died down. I, I think that was one of the secrets of podium is we were like, we just didn't have any ego around using what was really cool and trendy. We were kind of like, Hey, look, at the end of the day, it's pretty simple. Like all of us get our paychecks and get bonuses. If we get more people coming into the funnel and buying our product. So we kept it super, super simple, but that core strategy that I kind of discussed, we probably did that really heavily for a year and a half to two years. And then we kind of got that motion down. And I actually remember hiring someone. Um, I think we were actually going through Y Combinator. So I might have actually hired them in year one. I remember hiring someone and saying, hey, this is the motion. It works really well. I just need you to take this. And they're like, perfect. They did that. And then we went and hired someone else to come and start doing you know, digital ads and, and all of that. So we started expanding out past that uh, probably about a year and a half after. Another thing that we did that became a really great program for us and back to the like kind of unsexy activity was trade shows. Like by the time I left Podium, we were doing like 350 trade shows a year. Damn. And like, yeah, it was crazy. And um, not all of them, actually like 95% of them were like dinky little 10 by 10s at like the Minnesota Dental Apartment or uh, Minnesota Dental Association. And we would just do those over and over and over again. And again, we'd set goals. We'd say, hey, this is going to cost us eight grand to go do all in for airfare, hotel, the booth, power, whatever. Um, we just need to triple our money or quadruple our money. I actually think it was 4X within three months. And if we did it and it worked, we'd go back to that show next year and we'd just keep doing it over and over and over again. So it was really kind of just taking on kind of a channel at a time and saying, this works, let's get it to a good spot, pass it off find something else, get it to a good spot, pass it off. And we just started to feel this compounding effect of things that actually worked versus wasting money on things that didn't. 